of Ozzie and Harriet, starring the entire Nelson family. Here's Ozzie. Here's Harriet. Here's David. And here's Ricky. Here they are, America's favorite family, the Nelsons. Tonight's Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet is brought to you by... Today's Wheaties, the cereal with a kernel full of whole wheat energy in every flake. Today's Wheaties, breakfast of champions. How about that? I wish my average looked like that. But high score or not, there's nothing like bowling for all family fun and fitness. And look at this. Here's your chance to bowl free, one game out of three, by taking advantage of this offer on Wheaties packages. Just take the certificate on the back of specially marked Wheaties packages to any of the more than 4,800 participating BPAA bowling centers who will honor this certificate. Bowl two games of open bowling at the regular game rate and get the third game free. You can't beat that. And in my book, you can't beat the taste of today's Wheaties either. Give it a try. The famous Big G cereal with a kernel full of whole wheat energy in every flake. You'll find all the details about this valuable free bowling offer right on special Wheaties packages. Get today's Wheaties, breakfast of champions, and get bowling. Here you are, Dave. Oh, thanks. And hey, what's all this? Oh, just a few things Mr. Kelly wants you to take care of while he's on his trip. <laughs> he didn't say a word about this last night. Probably afraid I'd quit. <laughs> well, it looks a lot worse than it is. I hope you're right. Oh, excuse me. I think someone just came in. Oh, uh, uh Connie, uh, unless it's something terribly important, will you tell him I'm busy? I'd kind of like to get this stuff finished. I'll see what I can do. Well, I got rid of him. I told him you were very busy and they'd have to come back some other time. Oh, good. Thanks a lot. Oh, uh, who was it? Your wife and your mother. What? <laughs> oh, hi. Hi. We know you're very busy, so we'll just say hello and run right along. Oh, that's okay. I'm glad you dropped by. I haven't seen you in quite a while. I haven't seen you since breakfast. Oh, he didn't see me at all. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Is this lamp new? No, just a light bulb. I don't think anything's new since you were here last year. Well, I know these drapes aren't new. Well, I think they were here before the building. Oh, come on now. There's nothing wrong with the drapes. They may be a little faded. And they don't pull back all the way either. You don't get much light in here. Well, it comes in handy when you don't want somebody to read the fine print. Well, it doesn't do your eyes much good, though. And these walls don't help any. I know. I can't figure out whether they need cleaning or that's the original color. You know, a light blue might be nice in here. Or maybe a pale green. Ooh, that would be nice. Only thing, though, if you did that, then you'd have to change the drapes. Yes, I know. And if you change the drapes, you'd have to recover the sofa. Oh, and that'd be a shame. It's so nice and faded. <laughs> uh, look, girls, I appreciate your friendly suggestions, but if I don't get this work done, Mr. Kelly's lobby will be making some other changes around here. And who knows, the new man's wife and mother may like the office just the way it is. <laughs> Is the feeling he's trying to tell us something? You know, I think you may be right. <laughs> I don't want you to get the idea I'm trying to rush you. Well, don't apologize. If you'd rather do your silly old work than stand around and discuss something really important, it's okay. Sure, we can take a hand. <laughs> okay, girls, I surrender. You can come back anytime you want. Hey, wait a second. What's the matter? Well, I was just thinking. You know, maybe a few throw pillows might brighten up your sofa some. Hey, yeah, that's a good idea. And a few new pictures around here wouldn't do any harm either. You can take down that old diploma and put up a nice new painting. Oh, no, you don't. There are times when that diploma is the only thing that makes it look like I know what I'm doing. Don't tell me David's throwing you out. That's exactly what he's doing. He gave us some old line about having a lot of work to do. Oh, don't let him kid you. Mr. Kelly's gone out of town. He can sleep all afternoon. Uh, thanks a lot. <laughs> Let's see you later, Dave. Bye-bye, Bye, Connie. Bye, Mrs. Nelson. Bye, sweetie. Bye, Jim. <laughs> Bye. Don't let him work too hard. Okay. Does my office really look that bad? What do you mean? Oh, you know, kind of run down and seedy. Oh, I don't know. I hadn't noticed. Because I'm just used to it. Oh, by the way, Mrs. Kelly's stopping by to pick up some papers. Did Mr. Kelly tell you? Oh, uh, yeah, he did. They're on my desk.
Oh, Dave. Yeah? Do you have those papers for Mrs. Kelly? They're right there on the desk. Have her come in as soon as she gets here, will you? I'm here. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Kelly. I was uh, just testing the sofa. <laughs> Miss Edwards said you had a lot of work to do. No, I guess this wasn't some of it. Uh, here are the papers. Oh, thank you. Well, don't let me disturb you. Oh, that's okay. Oh, uh, Mrs. Kelly? Yes? Uh, does this office of mine look a little drab to you? I mean, does it look as if it needs a little brightening up? Now that you mention it, it does look as if it could use a little something. I don't know just what. Uh, I was just wondering. Did Mr. Kelly get off okay? Oh, yes. He left on the early morning plane. In fact, it was pretty exciting. He almost took off without his briefcase. <laughs> Good. I'm glad somebody else does things like that. Sometimes I wonder what he'd do if he didn't have me around. <laughs> My wife says the same thing to me. Well, I'll see you, Dave. Don't work too hard. I won't. You know, you're right. This place could stand a little brightening up. Well, goodbye, Dave. Bye. Oh, uh, Mrs. Kelly? Yes? You forgot your papers. Oh. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye, Miss Edwards. Goodbye, Miss Kelly. You know, Mrs. Kelly thinks my office looks a little dingy, too. Well, I don't know. Maybe it does. As I say, I guess I've been around here so long I've gotten used to it. Well, my mother and June seem to think it needs new drapes and just about everything. Well, just better get back to work. Oh, well, here, let me flop up the cushions for you. <laughs> there, that looks comfortable. Uh, thanks a lot. Good afternoon. May I help you? Oh, yes, thank you. I, I was thinking about redecorating my office, so I thought I'd drop by and get some ideas. Well, fine. Won't you sit down? Thank you. What type of an office is it? Well, it's kind of a small office. Uh, I work for this law firm, and, well, I got to looking at it today, uh, the office, that is, and well, I figured maybe I could make some changes. How's it done right now? Oh, uh, what do you mean? I mean, is it modern or early American, any particular period? Oh, no, I guess you'd call it early extemporaneous. <laughs> it's kind of a hodgepodge. Well, I'm sure we can help you. Of course, it's a little difficult to make any suggestions until I've seen it. Oh, sure. Oh, would it be convenient if I stopped by sometime tomorrow morning? Naturally, there's no obligation. Oh, well, uh, why don't we make it about 10 o'clock? Okay, fine. I think I have a card here someplace. Judy, I'm home. Hi. Hi. Did you have a good day? Yeah, I got most of the work done once I got around to it. Gee, I guess maybe we shouldn't have stopped by. Oh, uh, that's okay. I I'm glad you did. It got me thinking about the office. You know, you and Mom were absolutely right about that. Are you sure? I mean, you didn't think we were interfering. Oh, of course not. I appreciated your suggestions. Oh, good. In that case, I have something I want to show you. Uh, what's all this? It's a surprise. I've been working on it all afternoon. Now, don't rush me. I want to keep everything in order. Oh, here. What's this? It's a floor plan of your office. Are you planning to knock over the place? In front of me, I've worked out a complete plan to redecorate your whole office. You're kidding. No. Here, let me show you. We'll antique your desk and we'll move it over here. It'll give you much more light. And then we'll move your couch over here. Now, I thought a birdcage would look nice over here. A birdcage? Oh, don't worry. You don't have to keep a bird in it. You can plan it. Oh, and here are a couple of wallpapers to choose from. I thought this would be nice with the curtains I've picked out. A uh, curtains? Oh, wait a minute, honey. Curtains in an office? Well, sure. It'll be much more cheerful than those musty old drapes. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Don't you like it so far? Well, it's just that it's coming at me so fast. Uh, now, uh, what's this for again? That's the material for the sofa. Oh, yeah. You don't like it? <laughs> it's not that. It's just it's kind of hard to visualize. Well, look, why don't I bring everything down to the office tomorrow? I'm sure we can get a much better idea of it down there. Oh, okay. Well, how about, say, 10 o'clock? Oh, uh, gee, I've got an appointment at 10 o'clock. Can't we make it sometime in the afternoon? Gosh, I'd like to get started right away. Why don't I go down with you first thing in the morning at 9? Uh, okay. Gee, honey, I, I appreciate you doing all this, but isn't going to be an awful lot of trouble? Well, no, of course not. I had a wonderful time shopping for these things this afternoon. Besides, it'll be a lot of fun eating out tonight. Eating out? Oh, yeah, that's another little surprise. I was so busy working on your office, I forgot all about dinner. I'll get my coat. <laughs> Well, what do you think? Doesn't that have a nice warm look to it? Yeah, I guess it does. Uh, you don't think it looks uh, too comfortable and homey, do you? Well, no. That's what I like about it. It brings a feeling of the home into the office. 
I know your women clients will appreciate that. Well, uh, actually, practically all of our clients are men. Excuse me, Dave. Here are those papers you asked me to type up for Mrs. Martin. Oh, yeah, thanks. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, uh, yes, Mrs. Spencer. Well, I have it sent over first thing in the morning. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Well, we do have some women clients, but uh, most of our clients are men. Yes? There's a Miss Winters here to see you, Dave. Oh. Uh, will you ask her to wait for a few minutes? I I'll be right with her. Uh-huh. Another woman client. Well, uh, look, uh, why don't we talk about it later? Okay, but what do you think of the general idea? Uh, I kind of like it. Uh, we can talk a little more about it tonight. Okay. See you later, honey. Okay. And don't be late for dinner. I won't. Bye, Connie. Bye, Jim. Won't you come in, Miss Winters? Thank you. Right this way. Is that the decorator? Yes, it is. What are you going to tell her? Well, I'll just... Uh, would you like to explain things to her? Oh, I'd love to, but I'm really awfully busy. <laughs> I think this is a very nice office. Oh, thank you. Has some interesting possibilities. Reminds me of an office that we did for the Bradbury firm. In fact, I believe I have a picture of it here somewhere. Well, uh, to be honest with you, Miss Oh, yes, Winters, here it is. Oh, yes, uh, it looks very nice. You see, what we've done here, we've given it a strong, masculine look. That's the way I see your office, don't you? Well, uh, yes, I guess so. Mr. Bradbury was interested in ships, so we used that as our central theme. I think this wood paneling gives it a nice, strong effect. <laughs> yes, it does. Uh, of course, I don't want it to get too masculine. I have a lot of women clients, and I'd like the office to appeal to them, too. Oh, of course, but I do think it should reflect your personality. And you are definitely the masculine type, if I may say so. <laughs> I like to think so. <laughs> Besides, I think you'll find your women clients like a feeling of masculinity in a law office. It gives them a sense of security. For instance, if we took the draperies all the way to the ceiling and widened them a little, I think it would give them a bolder, stronger look. Yes, I see what you mean. Of course, this couch is liable to present a bit of a problem. Does this belong to you? Oh, it was just something I was looking at. Oh, well, it's a very unusual pattern. Of course, it wouldn't be right for this room, but it's very nice. In fact, it would make a very interesting sport coat. <laughs> I guess it would at that. <laughs> well, why don't I make up some sketches and check back with you later? Okay, and that'll be fine. I hope I haven't taken up too much of your time. Oh, no, not at all. I know you're anxious to get started on this, so I'll call you as soon as I have the sketches ready. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I didn't want to hurt her feelings. I didn't say a thing. <laughs> Yeah, thanks. I just finished. I have to go down to the library and pick up a book, so I thought I'd stop by for a minute. Oh, well, good. How about a dish of ice cream? Yeah, sounds good. Go on and sit down. I'll bring it right in. Okay, thanks. How are things going at the office? Oh, pretty good. Mr. Kelly's out of town. Yes, yeah, so I understand. Are you managing to take care of everything okay? Well, yes and no. I'm doing pretty well with other people's problems, but I'm having a little trouble with my own. Uh, seems to be par for the course. In fact, that's one of the reasons I stopped by. Your son, the lawyer, needs a little advice. Oh. Well, wait for me. I don't want to miss any of this. Okay. 
In fact, you were in on the beginning of it. Oh, does this by any chance have something to do with redecorating the office? Uh, it sure does. That's what I need the advice about. Well, I was talking to June this afternoon. She said you seemed very pleased with everything. Her plans, I mean. Well, yeah, I must admit I liked her ideas at first, but that was before I talked with the decorator. You mean you hired a decorator? Well, uh, not definitely. That is not yet, but she stopped by this morning and looked the place over and made a few suggestions, and they were a little better than June's. And June didn't like the idea? Well, she doesn't know about it. She had a couple of girlfriends over for dinner tonight, and I didn't want to start a big discussion. Oh, I'm sure she won't mind. Just tell her. Would you tell Mom? No. See what I mean? <laughs> June had some real good ideas. At least they sounded good to me. Well, yeah, but she doesn't seem to realize that decorating an office is a little different than decorating your home. An office should reflect a man's personality. It should be strong and masculine. It sounds to me like the decorator did a pretty good snow job on you. <laughs> well, maybe so, but she sure knows what she's talking about. I don't mean that June doesn't have good taste. She has wonderful taste. It's just that decorating is a profession. And you say she's a very attractive girl? Oh, uh, who? The decorator. I didn't say that. I'm <laughs> only teasing. Uh, your mother's just trying to figure out how complicated this whole situation is. Well, now that you mention it, she is quite attractive. It's pretty complicated. Uh, getting back to the subject, uh, your problem is that you like the decorator's ideas better, but you don't want to hurt June's feelings, right? Well, that's the general idea. A any suggestions? Well, yeah, I I've got one. I don't know if it'll work or not, but at least it's worth a try. What's that? Well, it seems to me I recall June's dropping a few hints about a bookshelf she wants you to build for the bedroom. Well, she wants a bookshelf, but she never said anything to me about building it. Well, th that's just the point I'm trying to bring out. Now, you didn't say anything to her about drawing up plans to decorate your office, but she did, and she did the best she could. But still, it wasn't quite as good as a professional job. You see what I mean? Yeah, you're suggesting I'm not a very good carpenter. <laughs> I'm suggesting that you could stall a decision on the decorating till you get the shelf built. Then you could surprise her with it. You mean sort of put the shoe on the other foot? Yeah, that's right. Then she'll realize that no matter how good the intentions are, a professional can normally do a better job. Suppose it turns out beautifully. <laughs> I don't think there's much chance of that. Uh, I think it's a good idea, Pop. Well, as I say, it's worth a try. Well, I better get on home. Oh, I'd like to ask one more favor, if I may. Well, sure. What is it? Uh, could I borrow a book from you? Oh, yeah, on uh, decorating or carpentry? Well, any kind of a book. I'm supposed to be at the library, and it closed five minutes ago. <laughs> How are you making out? Well, pretty good, considering I'm not much of a carpenter. What color are you going to paint it? I'm not going to paint it. I'm going to stain it mahogany. See, that looks too good, won't it? Not in our bedroom. It'll stick out like a sore thumb. I see what you mean. <laughs> I'm not very good with a hammer. <laughs> Tell me one thing. Suppose the plan doesn't work. I mean, suppose June thinks the shelf looks good in your bedroom. Well, in that case, my office will look like the bite of wee tea room with organy curtains and a plaid couch. Hi, honey, I'm home. Oh, okay. Be right there. Hi. Hi. Well, what are you grinning about? Am I grinning? You know darn well you are. Now, what's the surprise? What makes you think there's a surprise? Because you've got that I've got a surprise for you look on your face. Well, I guess I might as well tell you. You know that bookshelf you've been hinting about? You mean the one for the bedroom? Yeah. You bought one? No, I built one. You did? Yep. Yeah. Well, how wonderful. Come on, I'll show you. Well, there it is. You made that? All by yourself? Yep. Yeah. What do you think? I didn't think it was that bad. Bad? I think it's beautiful. What? Oh, thank you, honey. I think it's just beautiful. Oh, well, that's okay. Gee, I, I really don't think you can call it beautiful. Why not? Well, there are a lot of things wrong with it. Uh, like this corner down here is crooked and it's really not sanded very well. Nobody will notice that. The important thing is that you made it yourself and that's what makes it so beautiful. Yeah, but now that I see it up there, it, it just doesn't look as good as a professional job. I don't care. I love it, and I love you for doing it. Oh. I'll go get some books to put on it. Uh, don't get too many. It's really not very strong. <laughs> the only thing is, though, it makes me feel kind of guilty. What do you mean? Well, here you've made this beautiful bookshelf, and I haven't even really started to decorate your office. 
Oh, well, that's okay. But don't worry. I won't let you down. I'll get it. Hello? Oh, hi, Dad. Yeah, just a second. It's your dad. He wants to talk to you. Did David show you the beautiful bookshelf he made for our bedroom? Yeah, wasn't that a wonderful surprise? Oh, okay. Bye-bye. Gee, I guess I misunderstood. He didn't want to talk to you after all. <laughs> Dave? Yeah? Can I help you with anything? Oh, that's okay. I guess I'll just have to work this out myself. I've just about decided to call a decorator and tell her to forget the whole deal. I hope she hasn't gone to too much trouble. You mean you're gonna let June decorate the room? Yeah, I guess so. When you've got a losing case, it's always best to settle out of court. I know what you mean, but I'm sure she'll do a nice job. Uh, Connie, I've changed my mind about the room. Uh, would you call June and tell her I'm going to have a decorator do it? Uh, Connie? Uh, Miss Edwards? Come on, I know you're out there. <laughs> okay, never mind, I'll do it myself. Good luck. <laughs> You don't want me to decorate your office? That's right, honey. I know you mean well, but I've hired a decorator for the job. Chickened out, huh? Yeah. Any suggestions? Well, let's see. First of all, we could take the sofa and move it over here. Then we could paint the walls a periwinkle blue. No help, huh? I'm beginning to think there's no way out of this. What's that? Take it easy, boys. Don't bump into anything. Okay, Mrs. Kelly. We'll start in my husband's office. He's out of town. It's right over there. No, no, no. That paint goes on the walls in the mimeographing room. Yes, ma'am. Oh, hi there. Hi. Now, don't worry about a thing, David. I've told them you're busy and they're going to work around you. Uh, what's going on, Mr. Kelly? Don't you think this paper will look marvelous in Mr. Kelly's office? Oh, yeah. Oh, what a wonderful surprise it'll be for him. And I owe it all to you, David. <laughs> to me? Of course. If you hadn't mentioned decorating the office, it would never have occurred to me. <laughs> Yeah. Wait till you see the beautiful draperies I've picked out for your office. No, no, Eddie. That paper goes in Mr. Nelson's office right away. Oh, gosh, do you believe this? Not sure. Oh, this is great. Oh, what am I going to tell June? Hey, this is great. It is? Well, sure. It lets me off the hook. After all, what can I do about it if the boss's wife decides to decorate the office? Yeah, you're right. You know, it's kind of nice to know that even a chicken can have his day. <laughs> So Mrs. Kelly's doing the office, and it's all worked out just fine. Oh, good. Uh, what did June say? <laughs> oh, she took it in stride. She knew there was nothing I could do about it. Was, uh, did you ever tell her about the decorator? <laughs> Heck no. I figured, 
Well, as long as she did. Uh, you figured right. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Dave? Uh, yeah, just a second, honey. I'll talk to you later, Bob. Okay. Bye. Want something? Yeah, I just got an idea. You know, all this talk about decorating got me thinking. Why don't we take that extra bedroom of ours and turn it into a den? A den? Yeah, that sounds good. We could make it kind of like an office for you. And I've got a lot of wonderful ideas. You have? Yeah, in fact, I've got the first piece of furniture for it. What's that? Right here. Come on. Help me take it down. I thought you liked this. Oh, I do. But the more I look at it, the more it seems kind of masculine for me in here. It'd be perfect for a den. Oh? Sure. If it's going to be your den, then it should reflect your personality and your interests. It should look strong and masculine, just like you. And you're definitely the masculine type. <laughs> I may say so. Uh, June? <laughs> From the valley of the jolly, oh, 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 green giants, good things from the garden, garden in the valley, valley of the jolly, green giants, sweet corn, golden corn, fresh as dew in early morn, tender corn a-coming from the valley. And now, fresh from the field, comes a new kind of cream-style corn, Green Giant brand. Now quick cooked, the niblets way to keep all the golden color and fresh picked flavor. Try Green Giant cream style corn. For another kind of corn with garden fresh flavor, have the Green Giant's new white corn. It's quick cooked. Good things from the garden. No, she took it very well. Well, yeah, I just explained that you were sorry, but you'd have to cancel the order. Oh, I was pleasant, but firm. Yeah, well, I better get back to the table, Dave. Okay, so long. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, that's okay. Sure has been a pleasure having lunch with you. Oh, thanks. It was my pleasure. You won't forget about tomorrow. Oh, no, I'm looking forward to it. Around 12 o'clock? Oh, 12 or 12.30. Uh, then you can meet the rest of the guys, and we can get everything settled. Sounds like fun. In fact, this will be the first time I've ever decorated a fraternity house. <laughs> Tonight's Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet was brought to you by... The Jolly Green Giant, who sends you good things from the garden, including his famous Niblets brand corn.